Hello, my name is Mara Manelescu and I am here on behalf of Elena Gonzalez Blanco that is the, the main investigator of the project that we are having now in, uh, in development in uh, the Laboratorio de Innovación Digital, the Innovación en Humanidades Digitales in uh, UNED. And uh, I'm here also with, uh, with my colleague, the, the technical director of the project, uh, Salvador Ross. So the project is an ERC project. The project that I would, I'm going to talk with you is an ERC project, a five years project, and it's called Point Standardization and Link Open Data, Post Data. And I'm going to talk about how we will get, we will do we will uh, modulate the poetry to get to the link open data and what are the challenges that we are facing now. First of all, I want to tell you that we, are, we, just, we started the project in May, so we are in the beginning of the project. I will give you some information about where we are now and where we want to, to be in the next years. First of all, I don't know if you, you, you know who we are, so just a little bit about the context. We are uh, a, pioneer, a pioneer digital humanities center in the Spanish language. We, we were established in 2014. We are part of the of center net, network. We are completely self-sustained. First, we had an, uh, an internal project financed by the university, but now we managed to the project we managed to, to be self-sustained. We work in a team, in a mixed team. We say that we collaborate, uh, we have collaboration in university because we have a mixed team with uh, uh, philologists and also technical uh, colleagues. But also we we have people from different cultures. We have we work. With Spanish, we have a Portuguese colleague, we have uh, collaborators from France, from Italy, and from Romania, and I'm the project manager of the, of the project. So we, we work differently. As I told you, the, the team is mixed because in this kind of project, in, in digital humanities projects, we don't speak about, only about uh, the philo philological part, we speak also about technical part, technical part that sometimes uh, like philological uh, knowledge, like philological experts, we don't have the knowledge of the, the technical, like software developers or natural language processing and all this kind, so we need support from the technical team. What is all data? What is what we want to do? What is our aim with this project? We want to, to be to reach uh, a world where we can do where we can see poetry as linked upon data. So what means this? Starting going from counting syllables with fingers like we were doing some years ago, going with automatic automatic syllable count. Going from comparing two or three poems comparing thousands of poems from different languages. Because we are, we, are think, we are talking about the databases that we will look at it and there are 21 databases from uh, at least five different languages. Okay? What else? We are looking to change the, the, the way that we are finding now poetry to have a powerful engine to to find this, this point, to be like, let's say, we are, we are, let's say, we are joking between us, but not joking, we are thinking to be like Europeana for the poet. This is our aim. Okay? And then to link with Europeana. And it's also a collaborative work, what we want to do. To collaborate not only with philosophy but also other disciplines, not only with poetry, but also with art, with music, with all databases that we can where we can live. So this is more or less what I, what I already explained of why poetry, why modeling poetry. Because it's a field that that it's uh, growing and that it's there and it's 
is something that needs to be uh, shown to the people that poetry is not only on paper, poetry can also be in, in, uh, in digital. So how is our project started? It started in three axes. We have the theological part and we will create the model for uh, theological uh, shared elements and I will explain you later. Then we have the technological part that is uh, developing the ontology and going and uh, reaching the limit of open data for poetry. It's a spelling mistake, okay, sorry. <laughs> and then we have the, the society that is engaging the people working with us and, and uh, being inside the project. So, let, let's see something about how it's poetry and how, developed, how the poetry developed through the ages. So, because for us it's very important to see these kind of differences, to see the differences and to find them common points. And throughout the, the ages, poetry developed in, in different formats. So in the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, has the power of uh, flooding influenced the Roman languages. And from here, each language started to develop in a new, in a new path. So the common part that at one point they were common now started to develop different. So we have language, we have uh, poetry that at one point they were more or less the same and now it's different. How we will manage this one? How we will count the city levels? How we will make it link? I will show you later what we were uh, we discovered that how we can do it. Uh, we have also then later it started to be the poetry started to be uh, uh, on the part of musical and to be more uh, more developed also it's a new challenge for us how we do it and as I was talking about different languages that we will go in English but for example in English there are two preeminent school so it's uh, a traditional approach based, based on stress and classical theme, and there is another one, a generative approach based on the terminology and, uh, and concepts. So, how do we do it? It's, it's hard, but from the poetry that you can see in the, um, in the right, we will go here on the, on the left side. The other, the other part for you. So we will take the 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 parts that are common, like author, title, um, what kind of manuscript, language, topics. These are the common parts. Yeah, and then we have the parts that are different. And on top of all of that, of this, we will have a semantic layer. That with this semantic layer created. We can take information and we can make um, um, an ontology of the poetry from different cultures. How we can get the in, um, interoperability? If you see this uh, this time axis, we are talking about poetry first written on paper. Then we have when the uh, era of PCs and web arrived, we have poetry that is now on a in database. And how we will make it? On top of this, like I told you, on top of this, we'll put the semantic layer. Yeah, and we'll go from papers to, to, to uh, evaluate and to, to, to see the, the databases that are now in, uh, already developed. So, we have 21 databases from uh, different uh, countries. We are, working on, we are working on Latin poetry, Spanish poetry, Galician, Italian poetry, and also uh, French and uh, Occitan. And uh, we have also other databases from, uh, from Sweden, from uh, Czechia, from 
different countries that wants to be part of the project. And they, they gave us their databases to study and to find this common, uh, this common, this common field and then the other field and to, to make the, the ontology of the project. So what kind of databases we are, we are studying now? It's relational databases and we go for the conceptual model, like we told. And then we have the other part, we have the XML uh, schemas and then we go to conceptual models. We have another, kind, another type of databases and then again we go for this conceptual model. This will be the, uh, the, the part that will help us standardize, make a standardization for the point. So the idea is to develop a metadata application profile for the European poetry community and to arrive at this link open data technology <coughs> for the poet. Here you can see the the whole project put in a in a drawing, put in a, in a schema. So the first part is the thing that I already talked about, databases that we are studying, we are now studying and we have another, we expect to have a first draft of uh, this uh, uh, metadata application profile. We expect to have a, a first draft in January and then in February to have a meeting with all the, with all the partners from the, the databases that are working now, that we are working now, and to see if we manage to, to, to put together all the necessities and all the information that we, we could see there. And then we develop later, we will develop the, the ontology, the post data in open data, and on top of all this part, we will have two, two very important uh, development that will be the virtual research environment where people can enter and, and uh, put their own poetry and see and uh, tag and enrich the database and then we have the poetry uh, lab for digital tools. Here we will put together tools that are already developed and we will develop also new tools. To, to see and to and on top of that for the user and for the community to see we will have an interface an interface that will be user uh, user interface that will be friendly I will talk about it a little bit later but that can be reached also by the researchers with experience but also by the people that don't have experience but they want to see what is inside. So, how we will structure the, the top part of the, of the design that I, I, uh, I explained before. So, we will have the repository, that is the virtual research environment for poetry scholars and editing. This will be also open for researchers. I hope nothing will fight me. Bye-bye. <laughs> Sorry. So, this will be open for researchers and also for, for researchers with experience and also for users that are coming from other uh, areas like art or music or just teachers that want to, to see more and want to, to, um, to expand their area. Let's say. And we have then the, the lab, the, the technical lab with combination of tools, of specific tools for, for poetry and also we develop other tools to, to, to see all the information that we gather inside. On this moment it's early to talk about what tools we, we will develop. We have some ideas, we, we are looking in other projects this is why we, we came here and we go to other conferences to see and to talk with people what other uh, interesting tools and uh, applications are there and what 
its value for us and what we can develop. And then we have the community, a social platform for new projects, to add new projects, to add poetry, to add partners, to add, to add ideas. And this community, we see it like a, a big community and we see like a communication between us and between the, uh, the others and communication from where we can develop new ideas that will reach the whole Europe and the other Europe workers. So inside the, the repository and inside uh, the, the project, how you can manage our, how you can manage textual edition? So we will select uh, text encoding options based on, on, the, on the tagging and on the um, uh, standard system that we already are, are using in digital humanities. We will use a complex uh, system like XQuery for, for, uh, for text and also uh, user interface to visualize and publish the text edition in different formats because you you it depends also on the technologies that you want to use. So it will be open for you to choose which format you will choose. And like I was talking about with you, we will use the an environment to to design a suitable uh, project for different type of users. So not only poetry. You can bring later, you can bring also uh, uh, music. We are thinking to expand also on music or to expand also on the part of to have an application for travelers. If you are interested to see uh, uh, the life of one of the poet or you are interested to see something, uh, to visit some places, to have access to this, to, to the poet, to, through post data to information from that places. Okay? So what else we we are thinking to do, we, we it's our aim to do, to train academic researchers and professionals in uh, digital humanities to webinars, tutorials and uh, learning guides. Part of this uh, this training we all we are already doing. We have courses inside the university for digital for uh, digital humanities that are courses made by the, the, the experts that we are working with courses open for for all the users for uh, all over the world and we have also tutorials but for post data we will expand more most more this part of, of the laboratory and uh, and also to, to embed a context available for virtual uh, link, like I thought, for virtual link data framework, a virtual link data framework, not only going to poetry but also going to, to other fields. Okay. Uh, okay. So, user interface, it will be developed on a low powerful engine. We will use we will use the digital edition platform, the poetry lab that will have apps and tools and the visualization layer like I was explaining to you before with geolocalization, timelines, graphs and, and all the, let's say, the, the nice to see information that you want to, to have. In conclusion, like I've told you, the standardization and the interoperability, we, we discovered that it's not only a problem, uh, a challenge, let's say a challenge for poetry. It's a challenge in digital humanities. No matter what the field we are talking about, to, to find standardization, it's, it's, uh, it's a challenge that we all have to face. And we start with, uh, we started with poetry. We, we are in contact with other projects that are doing for the music or for art. So we, 
probably at one point all the all the different areas where digital humanities um, enters will have a standardization. But it's only it's only for 2016 to say that we have a standardization or or interoperability. It's hard to say this in Europe also for other fields that are there for a long time and like low or it's hard. So, but we go there. We try to go there. We have five years for the project, so we will, we will be there. At the conceptualization level, it is necessary to map and to translate the philological uh, concepts in, uh, in a manner that uh, manage the information and make it exchangeable. And also, the challenge that we have on the technical level and it's the, that this need of, uh, of finding a solution that we can use for the, the, the poetry that, that, we will, that we are starting. So this is more, this is what I wanted to, to, to tell you, to tell you what, are, what is our project, what is our approach for the project, what are the challenges that we are facing, and I'm here if you have any questions.